What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. So today we have some great news coming from this week's weekly Bungie update. A lot to talk about but before we go any further do you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and more? If so simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. Okay so let's get straight into the changes coming. Okay, so we're going to get new systems and rewards to give our most engaged players additional optional pursuits. Sounds good. Better incentives for players who complete challenging prestige activities. Awesome. Better rewards and replay value for strikes, adventures and lost sectors. This one, I don't know how they're going to drop it because strikes, you could, you could basically add exclusive loot to them. That will give people the incentive needed to keep grinding them like we had in Destiny 1. Anything else like engram drops and things like that I don't think will work. Adventures and Lost Sectors, well you know they could work them a million ways we're just gonna have to wait and see on them. Private matches for the competitive community we are targeting early 2018 a mod in my opinion which should have been in the game at release but even so as long as it's coming and we will get it that's good. Crucible tuning like adjusted supremacy scoring and better spawning rules, nice. Better incentives for completing crucible matches and penalties for those who quit competitive games early, about time. Continued improvements to the Iron Banner and Faction Rallies including uniqueness of rewards, that's absolutely amazing. Changes to make the mod economy more interesting and impactful. That I can't wait to hear more on. Ongoing improvements to exotics including adjustments to reduce instances of duplication. That's great because it took me almost two months to get my final exotic and the only way I could get it from Zer, that being a sweet business. I kept getting the Celestial Nighthawk and I kept getting the Cold Heart which was a pre-order exotic. I don't, I don't even know how that was even in the loot pool from Mengrams but yeah it is what it is. New ways to spend surplus currency and materials looking at you legendary shards. Good about time. I hope they stack out Zer's inventory with things to buy because we just need them we seriously do. Now this one is a big one people, something we've wanted since the start of Destiny. An emote interface that allows players to equip Salty, Spicy Raymond, Six Shooter and Flip Out all at the same time. So we're basically going to get an emote wheel that is going to be absolutely incredible. Something we've all wanted. They do state that there's more that they are working on and we'll talk again soon. So guys, some big changes there to talk about seriously. The one I'm most looking forward to is the better incentives for people to grind strikes because strikes for Destiny 1, in my opinion, easily took out half of my time playing the game. I love strikes, but I do like the strikes in Destiny 2. It's just no reason to play them. With incentives in place, I think they will work. Also, the implementation of us spending them shards. I mean, I don't know how they're going to incorporate that into the game, what we can buy, but it is definitely needed. I mean, I've got a low collection of shards and that's almost 2,000 compared to what other people have got out there. I know people with six, 7,000, so yeah. We definitely need something to spend these shards on for sure. But the emote wheel, in my opinion, is one of the best additions. I mean, we've wanted it from day one. I mean, it's not a biggie. It's an emote. It's an emote. Don't really change the game. But still, being able to equip and use more than one emote without going into your inventory is a great addition, in my opinion. It seriously is. So they go on to talk about uh, the patch notes from the patch 1.0.6. And they will be deploying this patch next week, they state. Okay, so what's being fixed here? General, fixed an issue with collision detection on the bureaucratic walk emote. You know how people were glitching to get through walls and stuff? That's going to be fixed. Fixed an issue causing players to encounter empty public spaces too often in free roam. Never really had that issue myself, but yeah. Okay, onto the crucible. Updated the mercy rule settings to allow mercy to activate slightly later in the match, allowing a wider range of scores to trigger it. This, in my opinion, don't make sense. In my opinion, the range was too wide already between scores. I thought they'd have to shorten it, if anything. Onto Clash, and they've reduced the score limit to 50, it was 75. Control, they've reduced it to 90, it was 100. Also, within Control, they've reduced influence that enemy controlled zones exert over the spawning system. This definitely needs to be fixed. I encountered this problem a lot within the Iron Banner. I mean, I was spawning with enemies in front of me capturing the point, so yeah, that definitely needed looking into. Game mode survival, reduced round time to 2 minutes, down from 3 minutes. Reduce life count to 6. Do you know, I don't know if that needed to be changed to be honest. But yeah, it is what it is. Supremacy. Increase score to win by 70. Up from 50. We grant 1 point per defeating an enemy guardian. 
adjusted the influence that enemy crests have on the spawning system. Okay, so yeah, a few changes there to PvP. The most apparent one there, in my opinion, is definitely the Mercy Rule and activating it slightly later in a match. I mean, allowing a wider range of scores to trigger it. That, in my opinion, does not make sense. But what do you think about that? Let me know down below within that comment section. Now, another thing they talk about within this Destiny update is issues with the PC launch, which if you do want to check out, I'll link the whole weekly update within the video description. But yes, guys, quite a bit of juicy information today. Don't forget, within November, there will be three more announcements via streams, I'm guessing, from Bungie. I'm guessing we're going to see uh, the first DLC based on Osiris, and even more, maybe changes to the game as well. Probably see a few of what they mentioned here also. But yes, guys, let me know what you think about what I've covered in today's video. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.